first game. The first game is Michael versus Kobe. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I'm there. I'm also going to open up the chat so that we can see if somebody has any information extra for us. Uh, by the way, um, if anybody knows, we're still waiting for a, f a few games that we can, if we can find, we're going to cast them, but it might not happen. So we'll figure that out later. So uh, thank uh, thank you, Ion Zerk, for inviting me for casting today. Uh, I I need to thank you for being my caster <laughs> because no no it's it's always good because uh, last time it didn't work for us uh, so it's good that it works uh, today because we did have the uh, l last time that we had a little bit of a problem so this time it's good that it's working correctly so and uh, I don't know when you're ready uh, you can start I am already in the game so uh, okay okay. We can start. Go, go. All right, go. Five, four, three. So Michael two, against Koget, first one. outsider. Yeah, you can introduce the player, please. All right, so uh, we're gonna have Michael as the purple Zerg at the top right location on outsider for Team USA, and his opponent is going to be Koget as the white Terran at the let's say 9 o'clock position for Team Poland. This is going to be on Outsider. I know this is a bit tricky, but uh, it's not Team USA, it's Team America. <laughs> it, okay, you're right, you're right. Because uh, we, we have some Canadian players in the, in yes, the, in the room. Yes, we, so. we can say North uh, America but it's not USA. Yes, you're right. You're you're right. Uh, absolutely right. Uh, so they're saying that your volume is a little bit low. Uh, what I'm going to I'm going to lower my volume a little bit. Okay. Okay. Because I I didn't even speak, but I guess it, I have an idea. Okay. So if uh, I'm going to uh, lower my volume and we keep talking, and if it's still a problem, I keep lowering a little bit from time to time, and it's going to be best of three. Uh, we got chat asking if it's best of one. It's a best of three for each set. So for each one against one, the ace match and the 2v2, if we get the 2v2, is going to be best of three. Yep. Okay, so uh, we see already that Michael is going for... Uh, this is a 12. No, it's like... So yeah, it's 12 pool and yeah. gas. Yeah, it's 12 pool, 11 gas. And... Yeah, okay, and uh, Koget starting with the f uh, barracks first. In this map, as a Terran, where do you think you put your expansion? Do you go for the mineral only, or do you go for the natural? Well, it depends. Uh, if I am going to play like one barrack gas, I, I'm probably going to take the mineral only, but uh, in this case I will take the, the expansion, uh, the, yeah. the natural expansion for sure. And Koget sees the natural expansion from Michael, so Koget knows where Michael is. He's gonna see the timing on the pool. And uh, the, the question is, I think, uh, how much information the SCV can get before it has to run. Yes, I mean, I, I think he must know because Koget is, was also a third player, so he, might, he must know he, he was a 12th pool. Now, the only thing I want to know is if he's going to see Lair uh, before speed, because if uh, Michael doesn't make speed... Oh, Michael... Okay, now he's making the Lair. So, Koget knows that it's Lair before speed. Yeah, but the speed is also um, uh, uh, something that can happen. And it will be a better timing, actually, for speed, because he's doing 12 pull. Mm -hmm. It will be... A, bit, a more fast speed than a standard 12 hatchery. You see, he is even pulling the SCVs. Like yes. He is really respecting this uh, this strat. Uh, but it is, it's uh -oh. not... Okay, I. Oh, well, what? I think Kog is dead. <laughs> I think Kog is dead. <laughs> like. Yes, he might be. 
No, wait, no, it's not dead because... No more, no more Zerglings. Yeah, no more Zerglings. I think Michael didn't expect the sixth link to be that effective. Yes. Like, at all. <laughs> <But it's... laughs> I think he can still make Zerglings and win. If he makes them now, he can still win, I think. No, because, because he, he didn't make SP, so it doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, yeah. It doesn't make sense to, more, to make more links. Okay. Yeah, he's making two Hachimuta, and it, for, you, you're a Zerg player. If you go to Hachimuta, when do you take the gas at the natural? Uh, listen, the problem is that this is 12 pool. The, the gas is not a problem for him because the early gas. Okay. And, you know, he's very low in drones. But he, yeah. his timing is, is very, very fast compared to the standard to Hachimuta. So, so he's taking the gas now, is perfect. It's, it's okay. Do you think that uh, Koget should put a bunker in his main or go directly for... Because he, he scouted the fast layer. He knows that it's a very fast layer, but he's not making... Uh, oh, he's now making the engineering bay, okay. Yeah, but he's very behind. Like, he's missing one barrack. I, uh, to be honest, he's gonna be, like, forced to make, like, 10 torres to, to, mm -hmm. to hold the, the mutas. Yeah. And going now for factory, is it like, do you want to go to factory this fast if you're going for yeah, against? Because, because he's gonna make like 10 torres, like I said before. He's, mm -hmm. he's aiming for Valkyries okay. or Besa. Okay, so he wants to su survive with the turrets, then get some tech to get additional barracks. Is the, is the only that I can, I can guess that can work, to be honest. But if you overreact, like making. Uh, I don't know, seven, ten torres. You can just make them and kill him with lurkers. Yes, I, I am a little bit worried because... Uh, oh, S but SCV is going to scout. I think this, this SCV might win the game because this SCV is going to see uh, that this is still low ec economy for the Zerg. And there is, is with so low economy, there is no third base. So I think he is going to be in a good position with the scout. The torres are late. Yes. Very well. But there is one already in the in the main economy. Yeah, but the barrack is very exposed. Like you can get more marines. Uh. I think he's gonna be fine because there's not that many mu It's eight mutants now, but the micro is not that good. For now. Okay, that's better. We are talking about five marines right now. Oh, he lost two mutants. That's yeah. That's something, but. You see, the, the, the bunker is empty. <laughs> okay, yeah. Two marines left. Three now. No, two. He may have a, a medic. Oh. Yes, but he has um, the turrets to uh, help defend, right? I mean, it's still difficult. It's why very difficult. Why Michael may have sunken? I don't... I, I think he, wa he was afraid of, uh, of more marines, but... <laughs> It's, it's funny should, because we have two marines in this game. <laughs> yes, but I think he didn't know that. I think he didn't see the, the factory for a very long time. So when he was going with the mutas, he didn't know that a factory was being built. Oh. Uh, well, we are in a game that if Koget defends, I he guess wins. he will be in a good position. I think he wins if he defends because it's two base. And no lurker, no. It's it's mutas. It's only mutas. So if he, yes, if he defends, he should win. But I think if Michael may link speed and light like ten links, yeah. that yeah, this, this game was over already. Yes, yes, definitely. It's funny. It's funny how how the luck can change. And now we have two barracks. A third one is being built, and there's three turrets. So. It's gonna be difficult for the uh, for the mutas to do something. Okay, Michael is being very aggressive. Like he's being very aggressive before the plus one finish, like taking down Torres. I think Michael is taking way too long to either expand or go for Lucas because he has enough money for uh, either one, but he's not really going for it. Yeah, I guess he's gonna use it for links. In the end, or no? Ah, it's, it's still very low. He made Marine? a speed. Do, do you know? No, make it. But look at marine. Uh, look at the marine count. It's like non-existent. 
Yeah, there's no Marines. So. <laughs> go get them. You are funny. Go get them. <laughs> <laughs> first time. <laughs> well. You know, there is a first time for everything. Yeah, My... okay, but if you see Koget playing, he's always trying first time <laughs> strats. <laughs> <laughs> Koget, <laughs> you are something else. Okay, let's go for the game too. Okay, so uh, seems like Michael actually won that with a two base Mira, but I think it's, I don't think you can call it even a two base Mira because you said it was a very fast. Two base muta. It was not even normal two base muta. It was extremely fast. Yeah, it's the, it's the timing for a CBC. I think I think if the, if Koget didn't go for uh, if if he didn't go for uh, the factory and the starport, but he went for more barracks, this should be easy win. I, do you know? I, I'm not sure about that because he he wasn't with only one barrack. Okay, so if we are talking about uh, two barracks stray, but he was behind from the from the links. Mm -hmm. He was behind, so it will be like Michael will take control. He will never really put any pressure with Marines at all. So this 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 uh, strat that he was trying, like going fast, uh, Besson, I think that was his only choice. You think so? Be because we see, yeah, we see this time that Michael was uh, over extending, but because he see that there are no Marines. Okay, okay, yeah, I understand. So th the reason why he went for more mutas is because there were no 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 production of Marines. Exactly, and... he was only okay. he was only trying to just keep the Marine low. And yeah, snipe Torres, and that's it. If I see he's making Marines. And not going for fast tech. I'm pretty sure he was like, okay, I'm going for um, more expos, maybe hider them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go for the game too. Fighting right, spirit. Let's go. Five. Four, when you lose, go three, fighting spirit. <laughs> two. One. Okay. So uh, let's see. Uh, we got Michael as the white zerg at the top right location. Uh, currently, one game up for Team America. This time I'm going to get it right. And we got Mr. Koget as the blue Terran at the bottom left location for Team Poland. And he lost the first game. So Yeah, uh, he's under pressure right now. And you know, Michael is a, an excellent player. He was an excellent I, player. I think he's a little bit too aggressive. Most of not for no, the last. Mostly in CV, in CVP and yeah, he's an aggressive player. He had the AKA cheese king. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's what that's why I'm thinking. Yes. When you are playing versus Michael, you don't really know what can you expect from him. But but he's not like Julia because Julia does a lot of uh, drops, play things like I I I think Michael is very aggressive, but he still plays. A little bit standard. He... No, no, it's not a standard, my friend. You are watching one player playing one, one hatchery layer, links drops. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> this is how crazy it is. <laughs> you know, not only that, he is doing it versus one base protos. Like what? <laughs> what? And it's working. It's amazing. Well, then I should probably watch him more often. To yeah, know but what... we are talking about like. Three years ago, like when yeah, when the foreign rug war was more healthy, you know. Yeah, it's coming back. It's coming back, rug war. Yeah, everyone is, is saying it's in the rise. <laughs> well, I I would say it's it's not declining. It's it's not going worse. It's getting a little bit better, but it still has a lot of it has a lot of way to go. There's still a lot of way to go until we can say it's on the rise. Yep. Um, okay. Michael is going so. 12 hash, 11 pull, normal. Yeah. Kogat is doing barrack and probably expansion. Okay, so uh, we're gonna need to wait until we see at least when uh, Michael makes the gas. Yeah, and this, what is, this is gonna be 3 hash uh, layer. It looks, yeah, it looks like it. I don't expect him to, to play Lorcas, to be honest, because. I've been casting like two or three matches from him. 
And he was playing CBT, at least CBT, very standard. And I mm. remember from three years oh. ago or something like that, Michael CBT was very strong standard play. Even versus Scan, <laughs> that was very impressive actually. Whoa, gets a gets an SCV actually kills the SCV building the uh, command center at the natural with a drone. Yeah, I I missed that. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, I I think it was very good because uh, Koget was trying to deny uh, the third hatchery, and when he was trying to deny the third hatchery, the drone was already uh, attacking. So Koget l reacted a bit late. Um. Oh, he's go he's going for two barracks. A refi mm -hmm. a refinery and then academy. But I am surprised because it, this is cross map. I think it's because he was not scouted. Uh, the overlord when he saw it's cross map and the he saw the overlord with the first SCV, he saw that the overlord was going down. So I think he wants to put uh you can see the Marines already going to try to find the overlord. I think he really expects to get uh, a good hit because it's, he's not going to be scouted. Yeah, but what I mean is that uh, this strat cross map is not effective. It's not really effective. Uh, yes, but if you if you don't scout it as the Zerg, you can see that the Zerg so far still doesn't know much. So I think, I, I know what you're saying, that usually this strategy is not good cross map because you want to hit fast, but you, he's still not being able to scout uh, Koget, and he doesn't know if Koget is expanding. I mean, he, well, sorry, he knows he is expanding, but he doesn't know anything else. He has not seen the marine count. Okay, no, no, we are confusing there. Actually, I, it was my mistake because I thought Koget is playing random again. It was just two barracks engineering then academy. <laughs> but it, it's not any pressure <laughs> or anything. It's just Koget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. That was a mistake. I saw two barrels and I thought he would be go Academy cross map, but it's okay. Ah. Okay, so he, yeah, you, I, th I see, I see. He's going Academy after the engineering base, so he's not trying to make a, yeah, yeah. an attack. Yeah, it, he's, it's, it's just to have a good um, marine number. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we do see the uh, Hydrogen, actually, so it's going to be Lurkers. And uh, yeah. no scans, no scans yet. Um, still, yeah, and, but look, still producing a... Okay, now first first scan and probably second scan. I think he will scan the, the Hydrogen, but the question is, because the, the Queen's Nest is... Like, is he even going Lurkers? Well, I, mean, I think no, this he, is crazy, he, he, he didn't make the, the upgrade. No, it can be crazy, sir, because there is no, yeah. there, there is no spare. So why do you go so quick uh, Queen's Nest on two bases with no lurkers? This is very interesting. What is he going to do now? A spare? Wait a minute. This is oh, a wait. I think he got scanned uh, on the... Oh, look. Oh, my God. This is so good. He waited until the scan so that Koget would see the Hydrogen. Then he makes the Spire, and after the scan is finished, he makes the Hive. I think this is for Guardians. Yes, but the second scan? Uh, yeah, but but you don't expect the second scan, because you think that once you scout, once he scans the Hydrogen, you don't expect a second scan to go off. Yes, but... Uh... You, you know, when, when the first scan goes, and you see Hydrogen, you think, I need to save a scan against Lurkers, right? You don't want to spend second scan. You want to keep the scan for uh, but, lurkers if they come. But he did use two scans. I hear. This is no, no. Yeah, I know, I know. But this is because it's Koget. You said it. It's Koget. But I, I think this is going to be. Look at the, uh, the amount of sunkens. He's going for guardians. I think. Yeah, but he the main link speed also. So Koget can expect really some bunk, uh, some lurker, link push. Uh, yeah. Anytime soon. Yeah. I still think this is for Guardians. If if the Spire... Look at this timing between the Spire and the Hive. Yeah, yeah. No, it's for Guardians, for sure. <laughs> there is no... He didn't make the Lurkers, so it's Guardians. But I don't think it's gonna work. Because he's not being doing drones. He's not taking a... Th he's not taking a... Th no, he's not taking a... Th that's an Overlord. He's not taking a third expansion. This is... 
This is not all in. This is crazy, stupid all in. I mean, look, he's not making anything apart from the mutas. Like, if Koget would attack with all he has now, he would not kill the Sunkens, but he would know that this is something like, uh, you know, either Guardian. It, it has to be Guardians. It cannot be anything else. You wouldn't make that many Sunkens for anything else but Guardians. Seven Sunkens. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna see the mutas. Look! He's gonna see the mutas. He's gonna see the mutas. Oh, yeah. And now we'll, we will just expect Taurus, yeah. Too, too late, of course, but, the, you know, there are Marines. Oh, yeah, five barracks. Yeah, exactly. So, that's okay. But now he shows the mutas, right? So, no lurkers, mutas, so late. I, I think Koget should know that this is for Guardians. No, he needs to scan again. Oh! Yeah, he scanned the, the expansions. So, no expansions, mutas, so late. I think he knows. <laughs> At the same time, Michael is making Hydras. <laughs> I know, but he's also making the Guardians. Let's see, uh, look at the... Oh, okay, yes. Second starport, but no no Wraiths. No, he doesn't know. He may have a second one because he's going by by over it. He doesn't know. Or, or maybe yes, because he's making the control tower. And I don't see the Sins Bissell. Ah... Uh. Is he what he's uh, he's gonna if he goes for vessels, he has to pull off the the natural. He has to get out of the natural. He cannot defend it. He has to get away. Oh. He has to lift. I think he should lift. I don't think he should he should scan and lift because this is one base against two base Zerg. So if you make the uh, the the wraiths and you kill the guardians and you don't lose, yeah, okay, he takes a little bit, but he he lifts it. Look at the bio. The bio can kill most of this. There's still no uh, Lurkers, so... I think it's... I think Koga is gonna attack the Sunkens. I hope not. <laughs> I think he's going for it. I, I If he attacks the Sunkens, that's a bad idea. Uh, no, see, if he attacks the Sunkens, GG. Yeah. I mean, I think he's going for it. He, 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 he's really going for it. Oh man, he's, I think he's probably I, waiting the one one. Oh, Koget is gonna lose. I think Koget is gonna lose. He will. He's waiting the one one to do that, I guess. Yeah, and look at the amount of hydras. If he, if if the hydras are going this around. This is so smart. Um, Koget, Michael, back back up the the guardians. Yeah, I know, but this is stupid because if he attacks with the, I, if he gets the guardians and the hydras together and he attacks Koget, he kills Koget, and Koget cannot kill Michael. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. This is not an oh my god moment. This is a Ajajai moment. This is your, your Ajajai moment. This oh a, man. This is a look, moment where look. you are like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> he, he would lose only. Oh. He would not even kill the Sunkens. Man, this is, that was so creative. That, that was so creative and amazing to watch. <laughs> Oh, Michael, Michael, you're back. Michael is back, I think, because that was two games that are very strange and two games he wins. <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, okay, so... <laughs> it looks like, uh, unfortunately for Koget, that didn't work. No. Nope. In the moment I... <laughs> I did see his army crossing the map to attack the song and I was like, yeah, yeah this game is over. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's because Koget is not used to this kind of style. You know, the style that Michael played in this game is so strange. You know, this game reminds me of some game that we casted before. Uh, Koget versus Dijen, actually. <laughs> In Blue Storm. Do you remember that? No, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. But I, I know what you're saying. It's like one of these games that is very strange. That just doesn't make any sense. No, it was pretty much the same. It said that it wasn't the same execution. It was like the Gen donating the Guardians and losing the game. Mm. But, but the gem is a Protoss. 
Yes, but he played Sir. Oh, I, I okay. Now I know what game you're saying. Yes. Yes. Okay, but anyway, guys, uh, for those of you, by the way, who are wondering, this is uh, well, as far as I understand, in you know, Zerg. Uh, these are games that were not casted before. These are other games that were from National League, and we're just casting them, uh, you know, to show other games that were not casted. Yes, which... I did make sure that we are not casting the same games again, because it, it will not make much sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, we, so, in the future, we will have bots of, of pretty much every, every clan war. It will be nice for the issue. No, it's very, it's very nice, because I think that... A lot of the times when we choose uh, which games are going to be casted, we only cast one series. So casting other games that were not casted, I think it's very good. Yeah, I, I have to mention that it's also hard to get the replays. For example, for this plan yeah. one, I, I, I only have like four replays. I was, miss I was missing a lot of games. And thank you to, to Dragon, I, I, my, I managed to get the replay. So it's not, it's not easy. Okay, so I, I think I'm still louder than you, so I'm going to lower my volume again. And we see if that's gonna help a little bit, because I can lower my microphone uh, on the fly very fast. So okay. I, I lowered my microphone a little bit, and uh, if, it, if I'm still louder, I'm gonna lower it again, so. Okay, let's go. Again, number two. This is Ty two versus Rasoway. Okay, that's a, that's an interesting one. Oh, Five, no, not really. four, three. No, it, it two, is because Rasoway should one. be much better, but not he really. Was... He is terrible at TVC. You what? You used to say that Rasoway was Gosu. No, I remember. Yes, TVP, TVP, and <laughs> TVT. Oh, you are such a bad manner person. <laughs> Don't say that he's terrible. <laughs> No, I am the first defender of Rasoi when yeah. it comes to TVP and TV, TVT. Well, I I would say that uh, I don't know Rasoi too much. Oh, he's pretty good. He's a but good player. I, I used to play with... I played a few games with Rasoi and I when I played against Rasoi with Protoss, I thought he was not better than Radley. Uh, but that was, yeah. I, I, but I was, you know, I'm not as good as these players. So. No, but you're kidding anyway. Uh, <laughs> Rasoi is pretty much is pretty much better than. I think so. I Rally, think he is. Rally I Jones. think he is, but, but at the same time, uh, you know, I don't know Rasoi that much. So. Oh, nine pool from TY2. Okay. Um. Yeah. Interesting. This is this is a map. That, uh, okay, it's, I guess. Um, uh, wait a minute. I, I also also I made my pool here, but I don't remember why. <laughs> I think I I I do think that this this ramp is not that big. If it was a map like Andromeda then I would understand trying to be very aggressive. But on a map like this, when after you're aggressive, the Terran can take a mineral only if he's afraid and cannot scout, I am not sure this is a good idea. Um, I don't know. I don't know, it depends. Because do you see it first a scout now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he just need to block the ramp, make us extra barrack. Okay, he's making a bunker. But mm, yeah, it okay. will be in time. And um, it's only five links. Hmm. I I think so far it's okay for us, are we? Yeah, but it's only one marine. Yes, so but there is a bunker. You do you see a bunker? You you back? No, no, I know, but we'll we'll see if Ty two tries to run run past. No, okay, okay. Yeah, he should back the CVs. Like you don't need that many CVs. 
Um, Mayor CC, maybe. I I don't understand why TY2 is going for the gas when he's so low on economy. Yes, but look the mirrors. He's okay in mirrors, so this means that uh, his layer timing will be nice. Will be faster. Mm -hmm. and, I... and the hatchery in the expansion is close to finish, so I think it will be okay as long as he he doesn't main speed. Nice, nice location on that command center, so the SCV is not get isn't not getting sniped. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it looks cute. <laughs> yeah, but, but I think it's a good idea because uh, if you put it on location, then some zerglings, if speed was made, we could run in and kill it. Yeah, yeah. Second barrel from from Rasawi. Still no gas. He's doing it now. Mm, oh, I still... Hydra then. Ooh, but... It's too harsh Hydra then. Mm. And this Sunken, I don't like the position of this Sunken. At all. <laughs> okay, yeah, because the gas can be killed. Oh, he... <laughs> no, be not because the gas, but he, you are no... He... What this Sunken is, is aiming for? Yeah, that. but he heard you, he heard you. He, he put the Sunken somewhere else. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's see, because he's going for uh, Lurkers very fast, well, like, I mean, it's not... Raso is making engineering. Well, he doesn't have a, an academy, so... Yes, but he's making engineering. Versus... Versus a very fast layer. Uh, uh, I am confused, he forgot the academy or something? I think he might... No, he started with a plus one, so... Maybe the academy is going to be later for uh, a stronger attack, but... Yeah, but it will be late in the rank, the marine range. Hmm... I but mean, he I, doesn't... I guess it doesn't matter, because this guy is doing larkers anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh... Well... We're gonna have to wait until the first uh, Lurkers hit, but the bunker is a little bit on the back, so if the Lurkers manage to get a uh, uh, borrowed next to the command center... Oh my god, Lurkers spec is done. Yeah, and so... this is a very problematic uh, step, because if Ross always scan the, the expansion to see the Sunkens, and then scan the, the main, he will mix the, the scans. Yeah, but he doesn't have scans, so... Yeah, in case he may once, but... He will waste the scans anyway. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, maybe TY2 waits until the scans are no, used? Uh, no, 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 no. Ross always dead. He's making factory. <laughs> like... He has no idea. Yeah. The lurkers are here, in the front. Oh, that's a good thing, actually. Because he will, he will now save the scans. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. No, you can attack anyway. <laughs> that was, that yeah, was he's dead. Waste. Yeah. He's dead. This he, is he... so fortunate. Like... Well, you said you said this was a good game, uh, like a good matchup or for America against Poland, but <laughs> For now, it doesn't look good because Rasov is getting destroyed. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's about uh, it's about clan war. Of course not. It's <laughs> just funny. Don't be so mean. <laughs> it's only I funny. I told you Rasov is terrible at TBC. <laughs> uh, he's not oh. gonna die. There are two bunkers. Yeah, but he. He's not going to die, but uh, at the same time, TY2 did take a third base, so it's not like he's all inning. He's he also has a spire and a, uh, and hive. he's making the hive. Yeah, so the problem is that the as at the time when Rasov can attack, TY2 can have ultras, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, because look at how much time is this is gonna he's gonna have to wait. Yeah, you're going too far. <laughs> He no, only, no. He only need one one tank, and he will clean this. He's not gonna clean it because he's 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 gonna like attack, 
So uh, TY2 is going to go back, but he, I mean that Rasova is not going to be able to attack. Not that he's going to clean the, the natural, but he's not going to be able to attack. I, I think he can snipe the, the tier expansion, at least. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so, because... Uh, I mean, if, if TY2 loses the four lurkers, yes. But if he doesn't lose the four lurkers, no. You see? Yeah, but now he can burrow there, and you still cannot kill the third from the Zerg. Hmm. So, you know, look look at the starport. You still need to wait until the vessel. So by the time the vessel is out, well, it's going to be guardians. It's not going to be ultras, but I still think. I mean, look how much time it's going to take uh, Rasovi to be able to attack, not get his uh, natural, but attack. Oh man, this America thing is fun of guardians. I think I think uh, TY2 should move uh, a little bit more back and stop lurkers, because I think if he moves a little bit back and Rasova thinks that he's out, he might kill all the marines. Mm. Yeah, because he's he's still not gonna lose uh, the, all the lurkers. He might lose one or two, but he's not gonna lose all of them. And you can see that the uh, the greater spire is. 80% done, so when it's... You know, you know and what, fourth I, base... what I, I can do in this situation? Like, I can show him, like, I unborrow... I don't know, like... Half, half of the lurkers, the, yes. Uh, and yes. leave the others in, in yes. her position. So, so that he attacks and kill and loses all the marines. Yeah. Yeah. But look at... I don't understand why TY2 is getting another expansion. He's still on... <laughs> he still has so few drones. He doesn't need another expansion, I think. Oh, so we need to be careful. Mm, does he have... He doesn't... No, look, he's not building anything uh, against the Guardians. He only has Marines. Mm, yep. Yeah. I think he can he can snipe the tier expansion. You mean the third and the fourth? Because there is only one guardian. Like... Oh yeah, okay. No, there's three more at the back. Oh what what the hell are those guardians doing there? Uh it's still gonna be game. <laughs> Poor Rasovi. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, people in the chat are asking uh, why are we seeing so many guardians? If this is Starcraft uh, vanilla, <laughs> I don't understand the joke because I wasn't around <laughs> at the time. Uh, so. Anyway, this game is like Rasovi cannot get out of his base. And it's gonna be four bases. We got already the filers, so. Oh man. Um, I think the wardens are dead. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like. I like. I like your the way that you change your mind. You don't say, well, maybe, no, you say, no. <laughs> yeah, is, is this a scenario that you are like, yes, this is going to happen, but <laughs> then you realize that it's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so there we still the... have... Yeah, go ahead. No, we still have very low economy for uh, TY2. He's still almost making nothing, but he's he's just... Oh, look at the man in hatchery. <laughs> oh. Oh, TY2. <laughs> yeah. You are too much. Well, he's gonna win this. I mean, I, I, I don't think there is anything that Russell can do now. Like nothing, zero. Oh, I think that hatchery is gonna finish at the natural. He can type GG. Yeah, but I think that the hatchery at the natural is actually gonna finish. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, it's gonna be GG, GG, okay. Mm. 
Ok. Uh... <laughs> yeah, ok. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to all this. Yeah. Well, I gotta say that it's not looking good for Poland. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking terrible. Yeah. Let's go for the game too. Fight the right. spirit. So I am going to go very quickly to the bathroom. You can start and I will join you very quickly, okay? Okay. Okay, so be right back. Okay guys, just in case you are turning, turning now, it's uh, Poland versus America. The score is uh, one out. Um, right now, Rosso is losing. He needs he needs to win this game to tie and go for the uh, third game, but. Uh, it's hard. There's always not really good at TVC. I don't have much expectation for it. So let's start the game. Five, four, three, two, one. So in the top in the top left we have Rasawi. In the bottom right we have TY2, the American player. Um, the map is Fighting Spirit, of course, you can see it in the overlay. Okay, I'm back. Um, you introduced the players, right? Yeah, I already did. Good. <laughs> you can, you, we can start talking about the important stuff. Okay, so do you think that Rastobi should go for uh, two port Wraith or Mech? <laughs> no, I think 99 racks. <laughs> Proxy or in the main? Proxy, boxer style. Hmm. I well, he's not doing that, but I mean, you said he was bad against Zerg, and if there is one thing that I learned when I play against a player who I think uh, is going to win against me is don't try to cheese because they're going to be better than you. Uh, at defending the cheese, <laughs> so uh, I guess it depends if you are confident or not. In this case, like you are talking about, you are not so confident. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I guess the race also matters. Mm. Like we are talking about you protos, right? Yes. Uh, and we are talking about two gays. Uh. Yeah. So it's very easy to, to miss micro and, and lose the game because you move ground once you a lot. So yeah. But marines are even easier to lose because they have less health. Yeah, but you, you have SCV so they are pretty good unit. Yeah. But if you, if you have to control a marines and SCVs, <laughs> it's more difficult than controlling only zealots. <laughs> Well, you, you don't need to control the CVs, you just, you just send them, like, let's go, and they, ah. they do the rest. Okay. You, the yeah, only you okay. need is to walk your marines around the CVs, <laughs> and autopilot, and that's it. <laughs> so you, you're saying that SCVs don't have Dragoon uh, artificial intelligence? They are not as stupid as Dragoons? <laughs> no, dragons, uh, dragons are very stupid. Like, you can, even if you try to control them, <laughs> it's impossible, so... Unless you're rich. If you, I think if you're rich, uh, they have better AI. Rich? Rich. Uh, what is the money? No, 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 not rich in money, but the player, the Korean player, rich. Who is that? You don't know rich, the player rich. No. Oh, come on. 
Oh, one of the eight Dragoon Masters. Dragoon Master Rich. I never he heard them. Oh, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. We, I, I, I will have to send you uh, something what Rich did with the Dragoons, which looks uh, completely impossible. <laughs> but okay, with the Dragoons. But anyway, so let's see what what we have. Uh, we have on one side we have a first fast layer, and uh, Rasov is gonna see it, and he again is going for second barracks. Yeah, I'm very late, guys. So I, I don't know what and, to expect. Yeah, and and again cross position. So, he's going to Rax, cross position. I don't know. Uh, he's going for academy this time. Okay. No, but in this case, it's too much meter, so he need two barracks. Like, yes or yes. Actually, I'm expecting oh. a new one. Like, three but, barracks. But, yeah, but, but you, I think if you if you go for fast expansion, cannot, can't you go bunker in the natural and then go very fast Valkyries? Versus too much meter. Yeah. I I I am asking because I don't know. I think if you if you have the turrets at the beginning and you make the Valkyries. Yes, it, it could be the case, but in this case he made the the refinery very very late. So yeah, yeah, it, it okay. was impossible. Like, yeah, not I, not I, in I this think case. You need to rush the for the gas and then make infantry. Yeah, only four marines. Okay, so it, it looks again like uh, Ty2 is the one trying to be. Oh, that's actually an SV. Wow. Well, this time, Ty is taking a very fast tier. He also took uh, two gases, and he's going for Spire this time. So. An extra barra, three barracks in total. Maybe he can make four. Maybe. Hmm. I mean, he's not gonna have the plus one. Well, he's starting this now. He, but he's not gonna have it for the mutas, I think. He's gonna cross the map. Mm. I, I think it's a good idea to leave your army around the map, so you need to keep the air busy with that. Yeah, I mean. I don't know exactly, like, there's a lot of Zerglings, right? So... No anymore. <laughs> ah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. There are turrets, Wait a minute, so... wait a minute. Uh... Nice micro. Yeah. Whoa. This is bad. This is very bad for us, Sobe. Uh, this is probably GG. Yeah. I, I mean, you can't really lose your your bio like that. Ah, uh, poor Rasawi. He, he he really needs to to step up his TVC, like spending one day trying to to fix the the mistake of of the strategy because this is impossible. You see, you have the turret support. Why are you losing free marines? Yeah, and not only that, but at the same time, uh, Ty2 did take a third base. So, if he transitions to lurkers now, it's gonna take a very long time for Rasovi to be able to put any pressure. This is very scary for Rasovi. I mean, this is <laughs> this is not only scary, but this is a terrible position for him, playing versus a healthy. Ser eco, three bases, quickness in the way. <sighs> so it's, go it's gonna be Guardians again. But at the same time, it's just like. Oh. I, I, it's very hard for me to understand because he went for the three uh, barracks, but he's losing still Marines. Yeah. It's because no range. But he did make the academy quickly this time, so... <laughs> I can't really... I can't really tell what's going on right now with Rosowie. 
Like the factory is is done before the range. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you know when when you are playing against two hash meta, you are like uh, if you defend, you are in a okay position. But this case is different. Yeah. You don't only need to defend; you need to do something in the in the game to be to be present, to be alive. It's not happening. I mean, the supply of TY2 is even higher, and I know it's Mutas, but <sighs> there's a third base, and it's mining. It, not too many drones, but enough to actually be something. He has more drones than, than Terran SCVs. That's how good yeah. this is. Hmm. <laughs> Crispy. Crispy drone comment really choc chocks me. He says that you only need six drones to support one hatchery. <laughs> I guess in theory, yes, you can do that, but uh, but no more. Still speaking, you 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 can never do that. Yeah, because you don't have the economy for upgrades or technology. You can only make units. Yeah, we are talking about support, uh, maybe some links. Yeah, and from time to time, one monitor. Okay, I mean, look, we have, uh, oh, we do have uh, wraiths being built, and if all the mutas are made into guardians. No, but we have a problem here. There are eleven mutas for micro, and there are there are like five or six mutas for guardians. So he's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think so. Wait a minute. Why he made two control towers? Uh, double vessel maybe, but he doesn't have the size facility. Um, he doesn't have a second gas for that. Well, he look, he has twenty-seven SCVs. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at this point, does it matter if you make two? Oh, he's going double Valkyries. Man, I'm so angry about. Two. <laughs> About this or so with style. I mean, <laughs> I, I want to go to Poland and trade him one week. Come on, man. This is I gonna this is you TVZ. Like this is no no no. This is not this is not TVZ. This is something else. I mean, this is RBC. Oh. <laughs> like Rasa <Rasawi> no. BC. <laughs> no, I think from the last game he thinks this is only Mutas. Oh, but because. Is... Yeah, he was making double Valkyries. That's why double. Uh, Control tower. Yeah, I think he, no <laughs> TY can skip the the mutas, the the guardians. Yeah, he should. Maybe and lurkers. Yeah, he's going for lurkers. He should definitely make a, a defiler mount, right? Mm, you are a safe player. You really need a defiler <laughs> versus Terran, <laughs> even if you are play only versus marines. Yeah. Wait a minute, you need it mostly to fight marines, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and a terrible Serita doesn't play <laughs> the Fighter versus Mech. Okay, so... Um, I, I I mean, if Rasove should not be able to win this, because there are Lurkers, there are Mutas, uh, there are Sunkens coming up. And we have still 27 SVs, so Rasov is not making any more economy. This is almost this is all in. If he loses this this army, even if TY2 was only on two bases, he would still lose. Well, he, and he's, he's gonna lose this army. Like there are no tanks. How you yeah. how you gonna kill the lurkers? Uh, you're not. You're gonna lose. <laughs> It's a bad idea. Why? Why did he run like that? <laughs> what are you doing? And GG. Ah, so we. Okay. Uh. <laughs> he 
what a situation. His army is trapped in this position. Yeah, but the 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 worst thing is that Rosovo is still staying in this game. <laughs> but he's playing for Poland. He needs to try. Yeah, but yeah, but at this point he has nothing. Fantasy like, says that he he will fight until he has one SCV. Yeah, that's why they call the fantasy GG timing. <laughs> Yeah, that was what, what the sound for. Yeah, because, I mean, four bases, Nidus Canal, uh, now the, the final mound is coming up, so... And, well, we have 31 SCVs, that's that's better. We have three free fire bats, that's very, very nice. And, but oh, still the plus, only plus one, right? So... Mm, yeah. Yes, and the, the armor. Yeah, we do have the armor for uh, the Zerg right now, but the thing is that when I'm looking at this, it's just... Rasovic, how does he even get out of his base when the Zerg attacks with everything? I think his plan is to spend right now. He doesn't care about uh, making a move or maybe just... But if he expands now, TY2 can take, like, two more or three more bases. It's just like... Um, I mean, this army can't really do much apart from defending an expansion. I don't think it even can defend. We have 15 lurkers. Okay, 15. Don't How do you defend? Uh, mines, vessels. Yeah, but yeah, but 15. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like it's gonna. It's 15. I'm trying you to know, be positive. Ve very time. soon, look, very soon there's going to be more lurkers than there are SCVs. <laughs> you are exaggerating. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Anyway, uh, I, I do think that Rasovic, like, the army that he has on the map is so small that if TY2 knew about it, he would kill it. And it's still no expansion, so Rasovic yeah. is still not expanding. This is, uh, this is a funny situation. <laughs> like, you know, Rasovic did this move going to the tier expansion, then crossing the map, then walking around just to surround the Lorker army in the front. But there was... Yeah. they come back, so... I mean, uh, if, if Rasovic gets very lucky and he can kill the 4th and then expand... He's, he didn't scout the 4th, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> I can't believe he's gonna attack the front. <laughs> you can't do that, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do it. What? He's ready to lurkers. And a defiler. Okay. But, yeah, still. And still no expansion. Uh, this is actually a dropship. But I don't think it's gonna change much. What is the dropship? Natural from Terrana. Um, is anti? Um, I think he wants to drop and attack at the same time. <clears throat> but like there are units everywhere. But this army can e can even kill the sunkens. Uh, he can. I know. Attack. And another vessel goes down. Okay, so we got a dropship coming down at the, uh, from the bottom uh, oh. from the net. Oh, this dropship is gonna deny an Overlord vision. Wow, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, defend the, the dropship. Oh, stop micro, oh. stop micro, stop micro. No, you are not a good pilot. No, it's not a it's not a problem about the pilot. It's a problem about the commander. <laughs> the commander is giving the wrong information to the units. <laughs> oh wow, Michael Jackson STV. Did you see that? No, you didn't. No. They they move so 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 funny, <laughs> like doing Michael Jackson move. <laughs> well, he is, he did take the third base. 
Oh, all the all the vessels died. Is he gonna attack? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, why not? <laughs> He's still going for it. Like he's dying. Mm. Okay, good. He's gonna snipe some drones. Yeah, but actually, look at the mines at the natural of the Zerg, and another dropship coming at the natural of the Zerg. Okay, never mind. It's dead. But you know, Rasova is actually taking control of the map. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what do you mean. He's uh, he has one marine in the in the front, or no, two vultures in the front. <laughs> um, he's moving a uh, small army. Yes, but look at the look at the fact that he expanded. He's also uh, making mines to block uh, the exits, and he is the one who's actually pressuring the Zerg. Now he should he should not be able to do that, but it's working for now. Mm, yeah, maybe. Uh... I mean, it's still the same situation. There are some mines, but he can he can attack. Yeah, but he expanded behind it. Yeah, yeah, but so, the, 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 the play has a, a new expansion for free to take, so I don't... Uh, yeah, do you know he's losing his army? Yeah. Oh, wait, this is a good move. Maybe he's gonna snipe the hatchery. No. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, but I think if, if Rasove can manage to keep this pressure... Yeah, the pressure is gone, I think. I don't think so, because... Oh, because there are Ultras. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> no, I mean, there are no mines anymore. Yeah. I, I don't know what pressure we are talking about, but pressure? <laughs> no, We're there is no pressure. We're talking about, uh, you know, uh, in this in space there is pressure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I I mean the 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 pool part presence the, there is no pressure. Yeah. Oh, and we got four armor ultras now. Hmm. Yeah, he, he's losing a CVs to one irradiate ultra. Ironic. Not, not ironic. Irradiate. <laughs> yeah, irradiate. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, no, Chris Pedron, there is no uh, pressure in space because there's no atmosphere, but there is pressure in the in the marines because they have to have pressure to survive. So there is pressure. <laughs> yeah, no, there is no pressure <laughs> at all. I mean, there, there are five, five, no, six fire bots, but uh, he's losing yeah, more vessels. Oh, he didn't. Wow. Well, I mean, um, look, Rasove has a problem with economy. He's still on thirty-two SCVs. I I think it's okay, I guess, because he's my own in the main. He has only yeah, one special left. Yeah, so. but that's that's but that's a problem. That's in itself <laughs> is is a problem. Okay, that's like saying it, th there is no problem that you have only one leg because you cannot run. Well, it's still a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> There's radiation pressure in space. <laughs> People are saying there is radiation pressure in space. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I gotta say that if this game go if Rasova wins this, this is gonna be one of the strangest wins. This is gonna be a lot of pressure for us for sure. Yeah. We can we can we can later on uh, like uh, give a link for the people in the chat for a music that's about pressure. <laughs> yeah. But about that, uh, that's all we can do. <laughs> this is only radiate pressure right now here. Wait, there is borrow borrow drone, so no pressure at all. 
Well, yeah. there is pressure for the vessel because they are going to die. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Man, that was so. weird. He had defense matrix. Yeah. Why, but why he died so easy? Because it, he already took damage uh, on the defense matrix. <laughs> it was the pressure. <laughs> Too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it was the irradiated pressure. Is <laughs> that was fair? The pressure is real. Okay, so we got we got the uh, in. Uh, I was gonna say infested marines, but these are uh, plagued marines, so they're running away. Uh, Rasovi, I mean, I have to say that Rasovi is still not dead, but like, uh, man, he's under pressure. This, this is very hard for him. Yeah, I mean, Ty two should completely win this, easy, because he has a lot more. Uh, to put oh he's sending one ultra to the twelve o'clock. I think T Y two is under pressure also. I think so, yeah. It because looks it, like it because he's always posting Team Luke with how much he practiced for this and he's under pressure because I think Dragon was talking about kick kick him from the team or something like oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a lot of the loss. Uh, army. Yeah, a team. lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk only about pressure. So we got some pressure, irradiate pressures, running uh, around the pressure map with pressure vessels. <laughs> don't, don't you think he will? He has to make one queen and some scorch to come out infested the the CC. Mm, I don't think it matters as long as he just makes more units and just attacks because. Look at how much army TY2 has. He's waiting. He's not attacking. Yeah, but Look. if he takes if he takes DCC, it would be more pressure for for Rasawi. But but no no no, but you said that TY2 is the one under pressure. Yeah, he doesn't but want Rasawi to Rasawi too because Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't want to give pressure to Rasawi. You know, it's his pressure. He doesn't want to give pressure to Rasawi. He wants to keep the pressure for himself. If we are talking about pressure, I think it's a lot <laughs> of pressure for both. <laughs> I think I think we are about to pressure our luck uh, with people leaving the chat because of our stupid talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the game is very stupid. Like why T Y two is not killing the turn? Yeah, because he, look how much army he has. Uh... <laughs> oh man! You know what? I think. Uh... Maybe T Y need to make some. Uh, what can I say? The wars. <laughs> no, the pressure is over. <laughs> and T Y two is going to give uh, some more time for fun. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so. <clears throat> Poland is down two games. Yeah, Poland is in terrible shape. Like if if they lose one one more, it's over. Yeah. Okay, the next game is Predator. Pred Predator. What is Predator? Predator. 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 Como español. Uh, yeah, it's like in Spanish, uh, because in Polish you would uh, read those uh, letters the same way, so it's Predator. Mm. So it's gonna <laughs> over over pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Mutisk is saying that it's over pressured. <laughs> okay. What well, <laughs> I, mean, good... I did win zero points? What? I did win zero points. New rating. <laughs> I, I receive, I receive this message. It's because I left uh, the replay. When you, when you, when we're watching a replay that is uh, on uh, two on two, not uh, melee or uh, use map settings, then sometimes there is a problem with the replay. And when somebody who's watching the replay leaves, the other player should get points. But because I don't have any points, you don't get any points. Ah, oh, that sucks. Can you, <laughs> can you take a B rank, aka, so I can win some points at the same time? 
I could, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, you are BM. I am not BM. Five, I care about four, my rank. <laughs> three, two, one. So guys, the first map is outsider. Outsider. Mm. Okay, so we have a predator or predator as the white zerg at the top right location on outsider playing for Team Poland. And his opponent is going to be Dragon as the purple Protoss at the 3... Wait, 9 o'clock. Sorry, 9 o'clock position. Yeah, this position is a bit tricky. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for, for Team America. Murica, we could call it. Yeah, this, this, uh, this, is, this thing is very... By the way, why is Quantel playing for this team? Because... Reasons? <laughs> Reasons? He's from <laughs> Indonesia. Maybe maybe Indonesia is like an old uh, colony of America. You know, for example. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't gonna come in front. <laughs> I know they invade uh, Vietnam. Um, <laughs> but uh, Indonesia is not... I don't think it was by any means part of anything like okay americans are everywhere but <laughs> <laughs> well we're, we're we are after all uh, all africans right we all came from africa so who cares <laughs> okay and uh, that means we're also all black so <laughs> that's funny <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, anyway, oh, we got a two gate, I think. Yeah, Dragon is gonna put it going for a two gate. It's it's an economical two gate because yes, in this maps, yes, because you can take the mirror only. Yeah, and yeah. just you know, don't you don't need cannons. No, you are safe. Yeah, and at the same time, you are pulling pressure to the to the cell. No, let's oh, not stop. start. Let's not start. Stop with, with the pressure. Aggression. You you will put aggression. <laughs> 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 okay, so we we definitely we definitely want to see how much aggression yeah. Dra Dragon can uh, do with the zealots or how much harassment he can do. Yeah, but it's gonna get scouted. I mean, Predator is gonna see with the first Overlord. So let's see how he reacts. I would really like him to make uh, like a third hatchery. I think and Ty Ty Two will be a bit nervous about this. Like he's a scouting two gays. He he knows. There is something coming. But this is Predator, not 2 by 2 Oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay, okay. Th too much pressure for you, I know. No, so, it's uh, not, let's not say this war anymore. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I, will, I would like Predator to send the six links to the main of uh, Dragon and wait for the re reinforcement Zerglings to actually defend because I think uh, the Zerglings are still faster and he sees that the Zealots from uh, Dragon are in the middle of the map mm, yeah oh this Zealot is playing with fire because it's on a map that has fire on the ground? Uh, not really <laughs> 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 we are so stupid today <laughs> It, no, we're not stupid. We're just having fun. <laughs> um, oh wow! Okay, so this drone, uh, very close. Survive. Yeah. I, okay, so the second is finished, and this pretty much. Oh, is he gonna? Wow, he's gonna catch. No. One, no oh, yes. that was close. Yeah. That was close. If he catches two uh, two zealots and kills them, I think Predator can go uh, another expansion. Man, I think the zealot had a, a lucky life. Like he was very close to die like two times. And yeah. in the end, he killed one link. Yeah, you I know mean, how lucky you need to be to <laughs> to get this. Well, I, I personally have never killed a zergling myself, so I don't know. <laughs> but when I kill a zergling, oh, that that zealot was not lucky. So when I kill a zergling myself, I will tell you how lucky I felt. <laughs> okay, so we got an expansion, but it's not a, a mineral uh, only. It's not at the back. Dragon is going for an expansion at the front. Yeah, I'm very surprised about this. Actually. Yeah, because uh, he saw the three hatcheries. Yeah, and there is aggression coming right now. 
like or link links is coming. Yeah, so this is strange because no, no, never mind. He's making drones. But there is no s okay. Speed is only now started. Okay, he's design. making more links. I am confused. He's making drones and links. Yeah, but okay, but he's making uh, speed only now, so he's making speed very late. Yeah. I think uh, the right. The... Whoa, 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 no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! This, this could be game. This is game. This is game. Yeah, I think this is game. You're right. It's... Okay. It's difficult to. I mean, you can you can really hold this unless you you pull all your workers. Well, maybe not all, but at least I don't know five. Uh, uh, I mean to okay. to save the Nexus, but no, I think the game is over. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, Citadel is so is you no know, Silver Core is done, but. Uh, <laughs> Who cares? He's dead. Who cares about it? <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, this game. Nice aggression from from Pre Predator. No, I I think it's a mistake from Dragon. I don't think it's like it was. It was good, but no, I, I think, think it was. I, I think it was a close call. Like. If, Prede if Predator uh, waited like one minute, it was okay. Yeah. It was a close call. I think he saw how much damage the Zealot took. So he knew that he could kill a few Zealots very quickly. Okay, let's go for the game too. Alright. Oh, Five, <laughs> I started four, to with you. Three, two. You, you you just want to start. You just you you're so eager. You want to keep going. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, funny spirit. Yeah, it's it's a new map. Yeah, I I have to say that there should be a season in uh, in IC Cup where you cannot use fighting spirit. Like it's not a map at all. Why? Because people will just keep using it. It would be a good idea just for one season. Just don't use Fighting Spirit. <laughs> I think you, you, you can. If you do that, I think Brugwar, Brugwar will will die. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe it's a bad idea. I get what you're saying. Maybe it's a bad idea. I okay. mean, unless you you will play turret defense or. <laughs> tank defense or something like that. Yeah, maybe. I I still think it's it will be fun. Or maybe <laughs> the the hunters a scene will be will back. <laughs> I can't see yep. myself playing hunters. I I, I can. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So let's see. Um. So we got Predator as the brown Zerg at the top right location for Team Poland. Up one game. And we got Dragon as the white Paros bottom left for Team America. So I, I think Dragon is going to play standard this time. I mean... What he started in Outsider with the two gates was okay, but I was surprised that he went for that natural expansion. Yeah, me too, right? Like, you have you, the ramp to defend, like, whatever comes, like, ultras, if you want. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you are, take, you are taking extra rigs to take the natural expansion. Yeah, and, and you can take it a little bit later when you push, anyway, yeah. so... Uh, surprise! I I I think Dragon is not used to play outsider. Maybe. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Uh, we do have a nine pull from Drag from Predator. Oh, it's over. <coughs> oh yeah, you're right. 
well in theory night drones but it's overpowered yeah no, no no you're right well that pylon is is it okay yeah yeah it's okay oh, okay this position is uh, whatever you do is okay to ball okay yeah I'm surprised he's going for this style where you go with uh, you know two probes like you scout one location if you don't see the Zerg then you go for the forge and then you scout the other two locations to know when you can if you can put the the base before uh, the, the Nexus before the cannons I'm surprised because I was expecting dragon to be either one gating or maybe going for it's just weird because this is the style that this is a very old style. Yeah, I, you think, know. I think he's he's just avoiding losing to a five pool. Mm, yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't make it doesn't make much sense to 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 scout to scout like that. All right. So I think that the next from from Zerg. The key is killing the pro, but from the Protoss is the key when you put the gas. After the once the gateway is finished, the question is: Is he going to go for additional gateways or is he going to go for the gas? I, I'm assuming it's going to be gas. Hmm. Mm. I have no idea. Maybe. Yeah, he's going to go for the gas. I think it's, this guy. This guy is a bit late, no? Isn't it? No, 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 no. It's not late because he does scout the gas from the Zerg is only now like finished. So I think it's okay because he did want to put the pylon first so he can keep producing probes. So you know what? I think it's okay. The dragon has only one cannon. Yeah, but he scouts with the probe that is only drones being built. Hmm. He does see also that uh, if he sees the lair, well, wait, this is yeah, this is a standard play for um predator, so one cannon should be okay. And why he put the links in the tier expansion from uh, for, that would be in the fissure for dragon? Hmm, maybe to catch uh, a probe if it tries to go out that way for the next scout. After he kills this probe, but the probe in the main is still alive, so. But there is nothing in the front, like nothing. No, but the, the, see the overload is like it's slowly coming in, so he would still see the probe. Um. Okay, I think Dragon is, is playing standard, like Stark Gate, then Citadel, maybe four gates. Hmm. I mean, it, he's not making the <clears throat> plus one. You, you remember when you said that he probably doesn't want to die to a five pool? Yep. I think he I think he's gonna play very standard this time. You see the plus one on the on the corsairs. So I think he's going to be going very standard because he he scouted a lot with a with a drone with a probe. He sees the third expansion. And if you look at the timing on the lair, the first corsair is gonna get there. The first corsair is gonna be able to scout. Mm, yeah, but I think the timing from, from, for the plus one attack is, is late. Ooh, Dragon is losing Zealots. Oh, that's bad. I don't I don't think it's a good idea to send the Zealots uh, from one gate until you see with the probe if there are additional Zerglings waiting. Or you need like four Zealots to do that. Yes, but not only the, the, the amount, but sending the Zealots without scouting with anything else. Because he's now sending the Corsair. I think I think Dragon might win this, because by the time the Corsair gets there, there's going to be at least uh, a minute and a half where the Zealots cannot go out again, because he lost two Zealots. So he cannot go out again for a little bit. So Dragon is going to get the five, the five hatcheries, and he's not going to be under pressure. There's not going to be pressure from Dragon for a little bit. Yeah, no aggression from Dragon. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is that when, when he lost the two Zealots, I think uh, Predator knows that he can... Yeah, he's only building drones. You can see that he's only 
He's not making anything else. Like Scourge, yes, to kill the the coursers, but he's not. He knows he he does. He's not gonna even. He scouted actually the natural of the Protoss. He knows that there's only three zealots in there, so he knows that this is not a four uh, a three um, gateway push or I something see, similar. I think dragons have problem with the gateway number. Yeah, um, but they, only be and the upgrades but, also. He's but he's going for fast uh, Templar archives. So he's going to be going for a either DT or two base strong push. Like two archons and uh, many cells. I know, I, I am thinking like one DT to harass and then go for either an expansion. Or the other option is he's going to go for like now he's going to add four gateways. Like in a, in a minute, he's going to add four gateways and then try to win on two bases. Because he doesn't have the, the, the numbers, he doesn't have enough uh, units to be aggressive. So, huh. he, uh, he, he expands or he goes for a lot of uh, gateways now? Mm, he's making more gateways now. Okay, let's see how many. One, two, and another one. Uh, I think you should add another one. Mm. He's making more well, cannons. Well, he he didn't scout. No, he did scout. He he did know all the technology. I mean, he's gonna have storm, but he, now he's not being. I think this is a mistake. He's not gonna be able to be aggressive, and he's not gonna be able to defend. Wow! If Dragon win this, I will be very very surprised. <laughs> Like, yeah. this, he's behind in every aspect, in every aspect. <sighs> okay, so Predator is taking the fourth base, right? And th there are not enough gateways to make an army to kill the Zerg from this, from this, uh, uh, from this production. Look, the only good is that he's playing Mita Scorch. So, I think the, the, the Ser number is fine. To yeah, but to he doesn't. Yeah. Me, but, uh... but he cannot follow it up. He cannot kill a base. If he wins with the with the coursers, oh, he's not. Go oh, okay. If he wins with the coursers against the mutas and the scourge, he still cannot attack, because predator is going to add uh, you know three more sunkens and still two base against four base. There is no uh, robotics, so you cannot drop DTs on the fourth. There is no expansion from Predator, so sorry for Dragon, so he cannot go into the late game. So yeah, it's, it's a very bad position, <laughs> no matter yeah. what. I think the only thing he could do, but okay, he doesn't know this, but I think the only thing he could do right now is try to add uh, a lot of gateways. Yeah, okay, actually he does. No, two. I would add like four more gateways and try to win with that because he, he's never going to be able to expand now. If he expands now, Zerg is going to take a massive lead. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay, that's a mistake. That's oh. a mistake. <laughs> that was a terrible mistake. Terrible, terrible mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... But again, this is not enough. Uh, now he has good production, so uh, Dragon is going to try to expand from a strong production, right? But Predator is uh, droning. He's going to get more economy for his fourth base. So. Yeah, but uh, I don't think the, the Hydra number is high enough to, to put some aggression in the team. No, 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 but. Yeah, but not not to kill uh, the third expansion. Uh, only expand yourself, because uh, Dragon cannot. Whoa! Is he gonna cancel it? Whoa! Cancels. Mm. Cancels the third for now. That's actually big. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Um, I think it's time to add more gates. Now? Yeah. I think he needs uh, tech. I think he needs uh, reavers now. I think I would actually no, no, want. No, reavers. He can make reavers cuts. 
What are you talking no, about? No, no, no. I'm saying start building slowly an army and get reavers because look at the look at the composition from uh, drag from predator. <laughs> he only need good storms, good storm connections. That's the only you need as protos. Uh, yeah, but he can defend, but he cannot kill. He can defend uh, his own expansions, well, but he cannot you, you kill. You start with something like you are defending, then you will make a move. Yeah, okay, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, hi, Gem Five. He's gonna deny the expansion. Mm. No. No, he's gonna kill the cannons. Oh, this is not bad. This is good. Yeah, this is good for Predator. No, attack the, attack the front. Um, oh, nice but good storms. storms. Nice storm. Yeah. <laughs> the M5 is crying about Sir, like always. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry about Sir. You are a race that made units click, sit, click, see, click, see. 